radical. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to Radical Rapid Fire Comment Responses of the Week from the period of September the 28th to October the 4th. First up, we have Roberta Burros. I just watched the pilot of the new Walking Dead show. It's pretty awful, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I, I have no interest in that whatsoever. Uh, I've read some reviews of it. They say it's kind of boring. Uh, it's written by Scott Gimple. I don't know. Like, I'm just done. I'm just done with The Walking Dead. And it just doesn't seem very compelling to me because they're trying to shift the focus on to the kids, to the tweens and everything. So I'm sure it's going to be, you know, more than a teen drama. But just that setup alone, I'm just not interested in it. I just don't care. Next up, Ryan Starlord. I have PlayStation 3 games, but no PlayStation 3 yet. I need to get one. Well, I didn't. I don't think I had any PlayStation 3 games before I picked this uh, PlayStation 3 up. I think the only thing I got with it was Little Big Planet, but I'm excited to get uh, some PlayStation 3 games. I am. So I'm not going to probably collect a lot, um, but yeah, there's some definitely definite ones I want to get, especially uh, the the Naughty Dog games on the system. So I'm looking forward to that. I would say just you know if you have the games, you need a system. Uh, try to do like I did. Just go to yard sale after yard sale till you see one, and maybe you'll get lucky and get a first generation like I did. Afro Gamer Dude, I will probably, I'll probably do a test to see if uh, PlayStation 2 games work on it. Maybe I'll do that for the next show off Saturday, huh? You know, it'll be live. It'll be live. We'll do it live. We'll do it live, and it'll be exciting. You know. The next person is Sam Cortez. It's a shame that WWF wrestlers, hey now, get the F out. Remember, it's WWE because uh, World uh, Wildlife Federation, something like that, didn't unionize back when Jesse Ventura wanted it. He was for the talent, but Hogan and his backstage politics put a stop to that. Oh, yes, the backstage politics. I would say that's a big part of what ro ruined uh, WCW. You know, Hogan and Nash and Scott Hall. You know, um, I think what really ruined WCW, and yes, I'm changing the fucking subject. I'm changing the fucking subject. I think what ruined WCW is that moment when they had the finger poke of doom and also when they ended Goldberg's streak with a fucking cattle prod, of all things. But yeah, unionizing, that would only work if a lot of big names got behind it today. Like if you had John Cena, for instance, you know, starting an actual union or actually, you know, defending and helping his brothers and sisters, because, you know, he's he's still like a big uh, he's a big deal. Even though he doesn't wrestle, he rarely wrestles. He's still a big deal. So if John Cena actually came out, you know, against WWE and what they're actually doing, not that he would, it would be a big deal. But uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I mean, there's going to be a lot of pressure on WWE in the future. There's going to be a lot of pressure on them to actually do the right thing and to, you know, let go of this whole fucking independent contractor facade. Next up, George Alves. Have you seen MJR's thumbnail of his new PS1 Hidden Gems video? It will give me nightmares all week. Well, speaking about doing it live, we'll do it live right now. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's see. This can't be really that. Um, he looks kind of, kind of high, or sleepy, something like that. Let me zoom in a little bit. I see the hearts. Uh, more PS One hidden gems. You know what? This is kind of tame. You know, it's kind of tame. Of course, you know, I, I, I think about Poop Slinger. Poop Slinger, and which one made me laugh? Which one? Okay. His big old bug eyes when he says, I'm fat. That one's kind of funny. I don't know. I don't... Oh, yeah, yeah. The recent Switch games that rock my world when his hair is flying back. Yeah, yeah. That one was pretty fucking crazy. But this one, I don't know, George. It's just not... He just kind of looks sleepy to me, right? Kind of a letdown. Kind of a letdown. Scar Nam, remember when he called his fans entitled, talking about Angry Joe? Pepperidge Farm remembers. 
Well, I remember when he shut down, literally this happened. He shut down his entire comment section. He disabled the likes, dislikes, shut down the comment section because he got a little pissy. Angry Joe, Millionaire Joe, got a little pissy that people were criticizing him in the comment section for making a big deal on how he's taking a vacation. You know, he made a big deal on how he works so hard and he's taking a vacation for a couple months or whatever length of time it was. And people rightly called him out saying, dude, you fucking play video games. Okay, you dress up and you play fucking video games, you goddamn twat. Taking a vacation from what exactly? And Moon Knight 1985, Joe is like DSP. This is what we need to do. This is what we need to do. We need to link a lot of these people to DSP. Because, you know, I'm sorry, I just don't see a whole lot of fucking difference. Pay pigs are pay pigs. It's just a difference of levels, you know what I'm saying? I mean, sure, Angry Joe's not exactly wearing a vest and doing, like, these weird things that DSP does, but we need to get off this shit. We need to get off this shit of actually only pointing at DSP for e-begging. There's a lot of fucking e-beggars on this platform, okay? DSP is one of the few people I really ever freaking talk about because it's just kind of pointless, pointless at this point. But Angry Joe, a lot of these other people that take donations willingly, take donations from their own fucking YouTube audience. Or, the, you know, they get on Switch and just fucking... I mean, goddamn, you know what? Ninja's an e-beggar. Ninja's a fucking e-beggar. One of the biggest e-beggars, right? At what point do you think, Do does anyone think it's perfectly fine to get hundreds and hundreds of dollars at a time like fucking Ninja does for just playing fucking Fortnite? Have you lost your goddamn mind? Lawrence Dagstein. If you have a PS4, there's a free open-world RPG, one part Breath of the Wild, one part anime graphics. It's called Genshin Impact. There's microtransactions, obviously, but they're not necessary to experience the game. Haven't had a chance to play it, but downloaded it a few days ago. Well, Lawrence, I'm on to you. You're actually part of the dev team, right? You're part of it. You're you're here just because you have the links and the ties. Ah, you can't fool me. No, I haven't heard about that one. I'll check it out. Uh, the microtransactions, are they crazy? Do you need them to actually play things? I, I think, I think like if, if it's a free game and the microtransactions are not really invasive or if it's just for like gear or you know, stuff like a hoverboard or this or glasses for your character or something like that, then that's not too bad. Next up, we got Anime Wolf Gamer. You know, choose. Are you an anime wolf or are you a gamer? All right, make a choice right now. Make a choice. Honestly, it's just really out of place for the game because it's focusing on adult Peter talking about Spider-Man. Look Look, I like Tom Holland as Spider-Man, but if I want him in a game, make a game about his certain character in a new Spider-Man game. Yeah, like, most people, it's not about the fact that it looks more like Tom Holland now. It's a fact that clearly they're shaving five to ten years off the age of the actual character who's in their freaking 20s. So now, you know, you take this game that was building up towards an adult Peter, and now you have, you know, young Peter Parker. As if we need young teenage Peter Parker again, you know? I, that's not really that interesting. Like, I want to see Spider-Man like as a young adult. You know, not as, again, and we're talking about The Walking Dead earlier. Why does everything have to shift to freaking, the, you know? I guess you need to appeal to a certain demographic, I suppose. But um, I would say just make a separate. If you want a Tom Holland Spider-Man game, fuck it, just make a separate game. Don't just try to shoehorn it into you know, a game that's actually started, you know. Next up, Wet Brees. We need dip space in this community. That alpha would be getting golds with one sentence comments. It's a good question. Is it possible to get a gold medal with a one sentence comment? With a one sentence comment. Uh, well, there's one that I might like highlight. It's definitely not. Uh, it's a great comment. It gets to the point. But the thing is, Unless it's a run-on sentence. If it's a run-on sentence, um, I don't know. Uh, now, it is true, multi-page comments 
they are more likely to get a goal than maybe a couple sentences. But sometimes there's been short comments that have gotten a gold or a silver because there's just so much substance packed into that. So, uh, yeah, shorter comments like this, right? This is never going to like get a medal. It's just not enough to this. But, you know, short paragraphs, short paragraphs have sometimes gotten a gold and extremely long comments have sometimes gotten a bronze. And then, you know, it, it just really comes down to substance. and you know, was it a particularly well-written comment? And last but not least, did it just move me in some way, like personally? Or was it something just of amazing substance? So the key word is substance in getting the medals. Uh, C-A-W-F Network TV, Fire Pro Wrestling World, uh, they, that just rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? They need it to fit in with the Avengers game having to use MCU stunt double lookalikes. Yeah, we recently uh, touched upon that uh, when I... I think I touched upon, I'm not sure. I might have not done any video, but I think in the comment section I talked about it. Yeah, I guess maybe they just need to shoehorn it and they don't have enough time to develop another Spider-Man game. So they said, hey, you know what? New console, PS5, we're going to have this Tom Holland looking Spider-Man and we want parity between all this. So we want to have put that one in the Avengers game. By the way, the scumbags are keeping that exclusive to the PS5. So you shit out of luck. You know, you sh uh, PS4, PS5, you shit out of luck. Well, fuck, maybe they'll have an Avengers remastered. I'm not sure. You're shit out of luck if you want to play as Spider-Man on the Xbox. You know, they're literally taking a superhero and just taking that out and just making it exclusive to one console. Not the Spider-Man games, okay, because we already knew that those were going to be exclusive to the PlayStation brand. But no, no, got to be petty and actually keep Spider-Man himself to the Avengers game. Uh, stunt double lookalikes, yeah, it was kind of weird and jarring when I saw the gameplay. And you have Tony Stark, but not Robert Downey Jr. And then you have these characters, but not their actors' license, uh, likenesses. I get why they did that, because all those characters are either dead, no longer in the series, they've moved on from it. But everyone thinks about the Avengers from the movies. So they're trying to use the popularity of the Avengers that everyone knows from the movies, but then you're like, who the fuck are these uh, jabroni stunt doubles? You know, it's just kind of jarring. Martyville. I hope no one who comes back as a ghost becomes one of those blanket ghosts you see in the cartoons normally are in Pac-Man. The blanket ghost. It's a staple during Halloween. And that was definitely around before the days of Pac-Man. Yeah, definitely people were putting sheets on themselves. So the question of, like, which came first as far as blanket ghost... Um, Pac-Man or little kids, you know, throwing a blanket on them. I think just they saw a white bed sheet and they said, you know what? Uh, one day a mother just threw it on their kid and said, you know what? That kind of looks like a ghost. We'll cut some eyes out and that's super scary. You know, that's all I got for you, Marty Bill. That's, that's all I got for you. Capcom Fan 82. Collecting to just have shit on the shelf is stupid. I have a collection myself, but I've been playing games for 30 years, so after a while, a collection uh, happens. Yeah, just time. Time passes, and you look around, you're like, I got a lot of shit. You know, I got a lot of shit. One day, I said to myself, you know what? I could do a show off Saturday, because I got a lot of shit around here, and, you know, one day when I'm done showing off all my shit, then, uh... I don't know. I won't do it anymore. So the goal of show off Saturday is to just continue showing off everything I have. As far as getting new stuff, not probably going to really do that a whole lot. So some of you expected me to go to the flea markets or the yard sales every single weekend. Fuck that. I already have so much shit I need to sort out and see what I actually have before I start buying doubles of shit. And I don't even know it. Folly Mule. I think a perfect example of this is comics. People collect comics like they're the stock market. I wonder what's really popular in comics right now. Are the Marvel books still outselling the DC books? I know Marvel took an angle and a, a lot of their stuff is really woke now and everything. So I don't know if that affects their sales. But what's really big in comics right now? What's really big in comics? Bull. Z. G. Yeah, I'm buying games I want to play. If a game is good, I leave it for my collection. If not, I'll sell it or trade it. Don't care if a game is uh, 
10 or 30 pounds, I'm not buying just because something is valuable. I, can, I can't do that anyway in my country because game collecting isn't that popular. It's so rare to find something valuable for cheap money. Hmm. So game collecting, you said it's rare to find something valuable for cheap money. Uh, it's different in different countries, I'm sure. Is it harder for you to get things, it, good deals is what I'm saying. Is it harder for you to pick up things in good deals? I guess if collecting is not as popular, then I don't know. That could work both ways. You would think in a country where it's really popular or it's harder to find things. If it's not as popular, then that might be amazing because you can find stuff. But I don't know. Leave it in the comment section down below. Do you think in a country where it's not as popular, it's easier to find things than it isn't? Like I said, that can kind of that could kind of go both ways. I, I could see that. You know, if there's less interest, then they're not out there, or people are not trying to sell them. I don't know. Braille two one five. That's why I unsubbed from him a few months ago. The whole donations thing almost seems like he's begging for donations and he's threatening to cut his live streams if he doesn't get any. Talking about, uh, what's that, Kevin Samuels? Yeah, yeah. That's what I noticed right away. He kept saying, okay, come on, come on. You know, I'm, I'm going to cut it. We need to get some more likes on this. Need to get some more likes on this. And I was like, you motherfucking bitch. You motherfucking bitch. If you're live streaming, just talk. Say what you're going to say. But he just long pauses and shit. You're wasting my fucking time, you piece of shit. I think it's what I said to Kevin. Or, you know, said to Kevin in one of my critical satire uploads. I'm like, you're wasting my fucking time if you're sitting there looking at the goddamn screen waiting for a like or a donation. Fuck you and fuck that, right? Nothing personal, Kevin Samuels, but, you know, just fuck you and fuck that. Haddington Rose. Dang, lots of rapids for this week. Guess instead of a Magnum, you were packing an AK. I love that. I just want to highlight that comment. I love that comment. Yeah, so uh, comparing it to a Magnum, and this is an AK, Radical Rapid Fire. Exactly. Great comparison. I would say more or less, uh, more or less the comment of the week is slow, methodical replies for longer comments. It's more of like a, you know, shotgun or a Magnum or like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe bombs? I'm not sure. Leave it in the comment section down below. If this is like an AK, then what is what is the weekly show? What is that? Bowls EG. I think yet again. If nothing, Little Big Planet is as a cool platformer. I think Black Ops 3 on last gen didn't have single player campaign included. Was just multiplayer on PS4 slash Xbox PC was single player and multiplayer. Not 100 sure, but you can Google it. Yeah, I think so. So that game on the PlayStation 3, if I can't get online and play it, then it's pretty much just a fucking coaster, right? Just a fucking coaster. I hate that shit, right? I hate that shit. Because if it's online only, then there's no single player. Then at some point, especially if it's not a popular game, then it's just plastic. That's, that's all it is. It's an absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. But I'm going to try it out to see if I actually I can play it. Maybe they got, like, something with bots? I'm not sure. So I wonder. You know, even if I can't get online... I know on 360, you can probably still get online. I, I'm not sure. I'm crossing my fingers here. Let's hope that I can play Black Ops 3 on my PlayStation 3. But probably not. Adam 10 Rose, again! No viewer discretion is advised? Sometimes I choose the other one. There's a smaller intro, and then the other intro, I got two different ones. I'll try to get really better at that. Uh, on the ones where I have a lot of cursing, sometimes, or talk about trim, which is probably most uploads, I have the viewer discretion is advised warning. But sometimes, uh, if it's a tame upload, then I just, boom, boom. The real John Hancock. These people donating to my... Uh, these people donating to so many fraudulent YouTubers or Twitch streamers are so irresponsible. They could be spending their money wisely on a great cause that's going to benefit us all, such as my humble non-profit video game museum. Non-profit, you say? Okay. Non-profit, well, I think that's something... Wait a second. You got museum merch, John. Fuck you, John. Fuck you and that museum merch, right? 
I think I think we'll leave it there. I, I would add more, but got to do it. Radical, radical rapid fire. Tron Razorblade. Tech Noir is one of my favorite gunship songs. You know what? It used to be my favorite. Is the first song I ever heard from them. But I think Woken Furies. Woken Furies. I think that's my new favorite. So I recommend that one. Uh, from Gunship. Woken Furies. It's a great, great song. Remember, the great sports. Ironically, I was working in the garage this weekend as my wife and I just moved about a year ago and things get misplaced, lost, whatever. Long story short, she found a box with my Xbox 360 Kinect games out in the garage and she was like, why are there video games out in the garage? I replied, those really aren't games. <laughs> Fucking nailed it. They're not, they're not games. They're not. Outside of maybe just dance. That is probably the only thing I've seen work pretty good on the Kinect. You know, many, many people reviewing the Kinect games, uh, they they barely work. They're barely fucking functional. 